Ah, uh, come on, son. It's all right. Take your time. There's no need to rush. All right. Ah, Lazuli. You've almost got it. Come on, little one. And here is the love of my life. Hello, darling. Oh, strawberry lemonade for me. Thank you, my gem. Look at our little cubs. Already so determined to take the world by storm. Just like their mother. <laughs> oh, darling. I must ask. Do you know how old I am? Two thousand years old. Yes. Almost on the dot. It will be official next week. The point I'm trying to make is that... You know an Adson vampire will only love once in their lifetime. I had to wait a very, very long time for you. But, it was worth it. I know, sweetling. I know you're still angry with me. But do not say that to Guilt Trip. Just to tell you how glad I am to have fallen for someone of your immense strength and intellect. To be able to have our children and Henry, the brat that he is, means the world to me. Having a family that actually loves one another was my only dream as a boy, and you've given it to me. Ugh. Uh, you're going to teach our children to tug on my horns, love. If that's your idea of revenge, then I suppose I'll bear it. Though, it appears that a pair of baby fangs is going to be your karma. <laughs> hmm? Oh, no. I don't want anyone else to see you. I... I am trying, darling. The instincts in me to claim you wholly... And truly, was already strong before, but with the twins, well, it's only intensified, I fear. Would you, perhaps, care to try for more? <laughs> Forgive me, my gem. Forgive me. It's only been a few months and here I am, begging for more. I'm beginning to think you like seeing me beg for something as simple as a kiss. To be touched. I do love it when you're stern with me, my sweet. Go on, scold me right now. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yes. Okoai kato. Look how your little nose scrunches up. And you still roll the R and lather. Even after all these years. Henry, can I ask you a favor? Have you wear the little sister that my gem invented? Thank you. Oh? You are... holding my hand again. I will not protest it. Not for a moment. But... I am curious as to why this change is happening. You thought about what happened and... You don't understand why I did what I did. I see. No, no, I understand that you don't forgive me just yet. I know. I am thankful you see... That it isn't out of blind malice. I... I... Don't know what I would do. Anything harmed you again. Harmed our children. It's a frightening feeling, my love. I... I'd never love again. I would mourn you until something... At long last... Grew something strong enough to strike me down permanently. I couldn't even end myself 
If I had wished, I'd heal from almost anything, even decapitation. And I don't want to live without you, without our family. <laughs> I, I'm fine. But am I shaking? <laughs> I see. I see. I know, on some level, that I am mad. Father locked me away for hundreds of years after he slew my mother. No matter how I try, my gem. Those demons are always in my ear, tormenting me. The first time I saw you, I was split in two by pure, innocent love. One might have for an angel, and horrid, disgusting, bestial urges. I wanted to rot you then and there. I didn't care if you saw, if anyone saw. I wanted to claim you. Like some filthy fucking animal. It's horrifying to remember all the thoughts I had to bury every time I visited that shop. The fantasies. I'm so sorry that I reduced you in such a thorough manner when you deserve the utmost respect. What? What did I think in the fantasies? <laughs> we have done 90% of them already, I assure you. The remainder, well, I'd have to put in a special order to a certain kind of blacksmith. <laughs> Look at them play. So happy. So unaware of the war happening all around them. Jem, I know what you will say, but it's making my chest hurt to think of you being part of this. There is a safe location northward into the mountains. I think you and the children should relocate there if things get too overwhelming. Jem, I know you do not wish to leave me behind, but I am their king, and I know you are their queen, but you're also my wife and mother to my children, our children, and I can't. Please, my love, every single day, before you wake, I rest my hand on your prosthetic leg, and it makes me wish I could strangle myself. I see it in the sweet, innocent look on your face as you snore away. It, it kills me. Jim, knowing that you suffered so much that I failed, I can't. Thank you, my love. Thank you for promising me. Oops. Hmm. Thank you for dropping off our children, Henry. You great, opalescent mongrel. <laughs> Did you have fun with Henry, my tiny terrors? Ah! See? See? Already they yank on my horns. Hmm? Huh? Uh, no, no, daddy's fine, little ones. I promise. I'll have to get used to me being an emotional sap quickly, I fear. God, hope you when you hit your teenage years. E news ruthless, my world. She was more reasonable years and years ago before a sea beast cursed one of her sons, and he was dragged to the depths. And with Rupin dead, I suppose she has nothing left to lose, does she? Jem? 
What is that look? Rupin? Escaped? No, no, I'm not angry at you. This complicates things, certainly, but I'm not angry. You need to focus on surviving, and that's what you did. Angel has made no mention of Rupin. He may very well have fled. Shh, shh, no, no. Do not fret over it, my gem. For now, let us enjoy the peace here. I worry that it will be short-lived. Even if that is the case, every moment I get with you, I shall count as a blessing.